Hey everyone, my name's Dev and I'm a third year medical student at Imperial College London. Now if you've been following this channel, you'll know that I love digital note taking. Wherever I go, I always take my iPad, whether that's the university, or if it's lectures, or if it's tutorials, or on the wards. I just take my iPad wherever I can. So my note taking app of choice is GoodNotes 5. So today I'm going to be going over some of my favourite tips and tricks that I use in order to improve my efficiency and also make my notes look clean. Shout out to my friend Payam for adding this word to my vocabulary. Despite this being filmed on GoodNotes, I'm sure that a lot of these tips will be applicable to whatever note taking software that you guys use. So the first thing on my list is tracing diagrams. Now this is definitely one of my favourite ones. I love drawing simple diagrams. Copying and pasting a diagram isn't always efficient because sometimes you don't actually go back and look at your notes. However, if you are making these notes yourself, or these diagrams in this case, you're more likely to remember something if you actively contributed to making it. And sometimes the picture actually has way too much detail and is a bit hard to read. So making a simple diagram out that condenses the information uh, and makes it more legible. And so that's why I make my own drawings, it's basically to uh, reduce this clutter and uh, for memory purposes. Now one would have noticed that I've suddenly moved from the middle of the screen to this side of the screen, and that's because of this. Usually works. Yo, Dev. It's not working. What a weirdo. All that guy cares about is getting people to like and comment on his video to optimise it for the YouTube algorithm. But who cares what he thinks? Let's try that again. There we go, it's much better. Right, so for this example, we're gonna to go to Google Chrome, find a picture that I like, which in this case is a heart, and I'm gonna copy and paste this picture over into GoodNotes 5, and then using a black marker, I'm going to go over the main outlines, and then I get rid of the background, and then color it in, using a highlighter, which brings us on to tip number two. Use a highlighter to color in your diagrams. Now, coloring it in with a pen is just a bit more harsh and uh, in your face. So I'd recommend using a highlighter instead. It's just a bit more aesthetically pleasing. The third thing on my list is multi-window. Now this is a relatively new update that came out in iPadOS 13. Not only does it allow me to open two documents at once, but actually allows me to have uh, two of the very same document open at the same time. And this allows me to edit uh, that document in real time in two places. Now I'll give an example as to why this was useful for me. So I had this question book that I was marking and I had to see the question and the answer. So um, having it open at two instances, I was able to mark the questions without having to flick through multiple like sort of apps at once. And if you scroll down, you'll see that any changes that I made here are actually reflected in the document further down um, in real time, which is very, very useful. The fourth thing on my list is document scanning. Now there are many ways to do this. One of these ways is to use your phone and then scan it and then transfer it to your iPad and then open up the app and then import it in or you had to download like a scanning app on your iPad and then scan it and then import it into GoodNotes which just is, is a bit too tedious, uh, much more than it needs to be and so having the ability to directly import the document into GoodNotes is very useful and for those people that say why do iPads need cameras, this is why for taking pictures in, of PowerPoints in lectures, in tutorials, and obviously document scanning. And it's these very small little time-saving things that really add up in the long run. The fifth thing is the search functionality. Now this one is pretty much self-explanatory. Not only can you search just the document, but also the entire note bank that you have, which is very, very powerful. The next thing is double tap to undo, or a triple finger slide to redo. Grab two fingers, double tap, and that's gonna undo. Three fingers like this, and slide across, and that will redo. Actually, I have a feeling that uh, this may not be a GoodNotes thing, but a iPadOS 13 thing, which means that this may be applicable in other note-taking apps as well. But the fact that GoodNotes is optimized for this, for these gestures, uh, makes it very convenient. It's just a bit more, uh, a, a slicker way to use the app, which speeds uh, things up. The seventh thing on my list is erasing the highlighter only. <laughs> Once again, a pretty self-explanatory thing. So if you go here, you can, you can just rub out the highlighter only. It's useful when you don't want to rub out the text. The eighth thing is having auto backup. I use an Android phone, so this is especially crucial to me. 
I can't purchase uh, good notes on my phone or my laptop. So having the ability to back up my notes uh, to Google Drive, OneDrive or Dropbox is highly, highly convenient. And even if you use an iPhone, backing up is still very crucial. Let's say you lose your iPad. You can always buy a new iPad, but your notes, the hard work that you put into these notes are all gone. And so it's very important, uh, should you lose your iPad, to have these notes backed up. Now you could use iCloud, but let's be honest, you're probably out of space in that. So I'd recommend to use Google Drive. It offers three times the storage, uh, which means uh, 15 gigabytes instead of the usual five. Or if you're a student, I think OneDrive provides you with one terabyte of space. So why not use that instead? The last thing on my list is having the ability to convert handwriting into text. If I'm honest with you guys, this one isn't really useful to me because if I made my notes by hand uh, and they're legible and pretty, um, it's just a bit more aesthetically pleasing to look at and a bit more personalised and a bit more me. So I personally wouldn't convert my handwriting into text. But for the people that want it, the functionality is certainly there. And I can say that it's very, very good. Whenever I wanted to convert my uh, text, uh, it's, it's worked like a charm, as long as your text isn't too illegible, in which case, unfortunately, it wouldn't work for you guys. So these have been some of my favourite things that I like to use in GoodNotes. Hopefully, at least one of these has been useful to you guys, and if it has, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. Make sure you let me know, and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe on the video. It um, really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Um, just to optimize my videos for search and hopefully you guys can help my channel grow. With that said, I've been Devify and I am out.